You know, there's something about being in the wide open spaces of America that helps put you in a different state of mind. Now, these areas have certainly benefited from a lot of growth and prosperity over the years, but it hasn't always been the case. We're here in Stillwater, Oklahoma, where we're about to discover how some old fashioned ingenuity helped to redefine how we live in our homes. Jim, I don't know if anybody's ever described you in these terms, but you're sort of the grandfather of geothermal heat pumps. I think that's probably probably pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, one of the grandfathers. Right, but your your home was the first yeah. residential home, yeah, it, correct? It was, I was a builder, and uh, we were involved in different projects, and one of the projects was the uh, building this home. What year did you build this home? It was built in the winter of 77, 78, and the uh, heat pump was installed about March 78. So this is virgin technology back then. No one had ever right. used it on a residential. Right. You're an engineer by training. We, uh, was that part of the attraction to, to well, try something like we this? Were, uh, we were already doing all the passive things that we could, you know, insulation in the walls, double glass windows, that sort of thing and we were just exploring for other ways to try to cut the utility bills down. We theorized that if we buried the uh, water circulating coil and instead of having an air to air heat pump, it'd now be a water to air heat pump. The heat pump would never see temperature below 35 or 37 degrees F, you know, so the heat pump can run just fine on that kind of water. So we know that geothermal heat pump systems will save you money and last a long time, but how do they work? A ground source heat pump utilizes the constant temperature of the earth to either extract or put heat into the ground as opposed to trying to put it into the air. We spoke with Bob Ingersoll, the director of the International Ground Source Heat Pump Association at Oklahoma State University, to help us understand the science behind the savings. The unit that is outside is replaced by a ground heat exchanger, where you drill or trench into the earth to capture the constant temperature of the earth through a series of tubes, if you will, that you circulate water and antifreeze with. And this technology was invented and created here in Oklahoma? The initial research that developed the standards of materials and techniques was developed here by Dr. Jim Bowes and his colleagues. All right, so uh, typically a furnace has a heat exchanger, which is a metal box that, uh, that is heated um, or cooled, uh, if it's a cooling coil on the AC. But with a, a, a ground source system, you're taking the relatively consistent temperature of the earth below a certain level and using that to both heat and cool a home. How? By, by capturing the heat in the ground mm -hmm. and concentrating it for the winter and doing the reverse of that, taking the heat out of the home and putting it into the ground, where you, the temperature is much more conducive to heat transfer than using the air. So essentially I've got a pump mm -hmm. and at a certain time of year it runs one way and then in another time of the year I put the brakes on and put it in reverse and it runs the other way. It's, that's exactly it. Okay, now can it technically be used in any environment? We have ground source heat pump installations from the equator to the Arctic Circle. Wow. If you got a seven degree uh, difference between what you're pumping into the ground and your heat exchanger and bringing back, it, it works. The process of installing a geo system takes a variety of factors into consideration. Kyle Kelty is with B&L Heating and Air Conditioning, and his team has installed a high volume of these types of systems in and around the Stillwater area. So Kyle, with these geothermal units, what most people don't understand is the fact that You've got to dig a bunch of trenches out here to get this thing to work, and really, that's the special sauce in the whole soup, isn't it? Pretty well, yeah. Now, what happens here? Uh, right now, what we're doing, the well driller comes in, drills the wells. A lot of questions come in. People think, well, there's a well in my yard. They think of a traditional well that's standing up in the yard, and you'll see all these wells together. When we get done, it'll just look like the rest of the yard here. I mean, there's nothing. You won't even know it's right, there. Right. Now, you put these four wells in there. There's 200 feet of pipe. That's a loop, right? It goes down and then comes back up again. Yeah. Now, you're going to connect all those and then take it into the house, yeah. correct? Yes. It'll be parallel piping, basically, where the water will come in and, and branch out to all four loops, and then the water will go down, cool off or heat, warm up, depending on the season, 
and then come back to the house. And then the work you're going to do today by connecting that header or the manifold to bring it all in, that's a half day, day's worth of work? Typically we can do a system like this in about four hours. It always goes faster when the boss is on the job too, right? For sure, for sure. <laughs> all right, thanks so much. Thank you. Marva, we have spent a lot of time talking about all the technical aspects that go into a geothermal heating system. And you guys have that installed, you and your husband, here in this home. Yes. How long have you lived here? 35 years. And when you bought this home, did you install it yourself or was it already here? It was already installed. The home had been built and I lived in for a very short time. And so we bought it, moved in, and found out that it had a geothermal unit. You've lived here 35 years. That system that was installed back then is the same system that you're still using today. We are still using it. And it continues to work, and you really, other than perhaps some regular maintenance to have it checked out, you're comfortable in the summer, you're comfortable in the winter. When you turn it on warm, it's warm, and when you turn it on cool, you feel cool. Right. So it's great. Right. You know, I find all this stuff truly fascinating. When you think about all of the different options that are out there when it comes to home energy, it's really impressive. Yes, there's an investment that goes into these types of systems, but if you invest wisely, you're gonna reap all of the savings of your hard-earned dollars.